Uh, welcome to the Thincast tutorial video on the video players. Uh, this video uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the video players, how we use them, and I'll go straight to the video tab. There's a couple of options in here uh, you may be familiar with uh, or may not be. So uh, first thing I want to do is just bring this volume switch down to about one. And same here for player one. So it won't be over loud. So what I'll try and do uh, through the demonstration um, is basically to speak when the video players are not being played, or at least wait until they finish speak, so you can hear me and not be distracted. Okay, so here's our two video players. I have a couple of buttons, uh, which is identical in each one. We have a roll button, which is equivalent to play and pause. We have a loop button, which is to loop, meaning when it finishes the video, it'll straight away repeat itself. We have the roll on take uh, check mark. And while this is checked, if we have a video up in preview and we take or transition it in with the transition bar or auto take, it'll automatically play without having to press the roll button or play button. Here we have a speed bar which will adjust how fast or how slow uh, the video plays. So you can basically slow down your footage or you can speed it up uh, dramatically. And here we have a single selection uh, button to select the video file singularly. So uh, I can select here for player one. However, we can load a full folder, uh, say desktop. Click OK. So it's, if I highlight player two now and I select, oh, I don't know, this one, New York City drone, it automatically comes in. Um, let's scroll down. However, I, I prefer this one. Uh, Venice. So again, just to go through that, um, whatever tab is highlighted, so if I click player one, now when I select the video file, it it is what's going to come into player one. And as equally if I select player two, this will come in automatically to player two. Yep. Okay, so uh, we'll put Venice back on player two. And player one, I'm not sure if that's the uh, green screen or not. No. Um, not too sure. I'll select it from here because I'm not sure what the name is called. Oh, Simplish one. Okay. And I'll open that. Okay. Now, we'll put a loop on player one because it's reasonably short. But while this is playing, I want you to look up here at the progress bar. Incidentally, you might have noticed that green LED light coming on, uh, which when you look up, you see like it's on a loop. And if it should not be, you can unloop it very quickly. So on the final 20 seconds, of any video footage, the progress bar will go from white to orange. And that orange is like a slight warning when you look up to say, your video is coming near the end. Get ready, make sure you're lined up with your next bit of footage. So if it was player one, for example, and you look up and you see orange, you might start putting something else, a camera, a virtual set, or whatever, into the preview to transition in. So we'll demonstrate that and, uh, for uh, player one. So what I will do is I'll, I'll scroll up in the video. Oops, just a little bit back before it goes orange and red to the last uh, 20 seconds. Okay, so it, it's on 21 seconds, they're white. And I'm going to take this, T1, 
checking because it's auto check will automatically play it. And this. Uh, and you can see where it's Lower gone orange. On the fly, box in box, video switching with 32 transitions and so uh, much 10 more. seconds will Visit go red. For full information, and on final, it will loop or start watching. again. Bye now. Hi, I'm Rhonda from FinCast. FinCast Studio. Okay, so I just pressed the, the T button on the keyboard. T is to pause and play player one, and Y is for to pause and play player two. Um, you can see it on the keyboard settings. So it's listed here, you need to find it. So you don't need to memorize it. Um, okay, so let's go back to our video footage. And the seek bar is designed to seek through our footage where it remains completely quiet because we're in the middle of a, a production or a live broadcast and we don't need high screech and seeking after we come all over our broadcast. So that, that's why it's quiet. Um, I take that loop off. Uh, they're identical in every aspect. Uh, the video players, they're simple, but they give good guidance up here for the simple reason. Um, I'm going to put down the player two for that you can sound completely as I as I play this one. I just start rolling it there. We can put it up or we can have a little look at it. Okay. So sometimes you're going to well not sometimes you're, it's definite you're going to be navigating around your uh, studio selecting cameras and setting up lower thirds and doing you know it, it's a good workload for anybody for any technical director or switcher and while you're doing this it's you can't see your videos anymore because the video tab most likely will not be selected you could be on something else we'll, we'll pretend you're on lower thirds for argument's sake so on on the lower thirds uh tab you can't see videos so when you look up here you can see what's going on and this is a good indication of remaining time and again as we said white everything's okay but when we see it going orange we know well it's coming into the last 20 seconds and when we see it going red we know we've got to do we've got to be ready so it's gone orange there and when it gets to 10 seconds it'll go into red as a good warning to us that this is coming to an end so be ready to do something or you're going to get a black screen okay now uh, I'll demonstrate this without sound for now because if if I play sound it's just going to drown all over me but here uh, in the audio mixer we can fade in and fade out between both players we can do them separately as well so this is a level bar it's quite low at the moment if I was to put that at one then we can fade in all the way up to the top to one um, back out the speed at which we fade is set by this fades and if I fade it back in you can see it's fading in much much slower and the reason why I'm not doing this with sound is because you're not going to be able to concentrate on what I'm saying uh, if you, if the video player is playing but I will demonstrate it and this level again just to go back to it we said it maybe well, about halfway give or take I'm not going to be over precise on it but somewhere in around there is halfway this time when we fade in you can see that it will fade up to pretty much around five Oh, I should take off that nine seconds. It's incredibly low. Well, for me to demonstrate. Now we've got another button here, which is our auto fade between each of these players. So one fades out, one fades in. That's pretty much the way it works. Again, we've nothing playing at present, uh, but I will demonstrate this when I when I'm going to stay quiet. Okay, and we'll do it fast. Um, okay, so I'll roll each of these and then I'll press the fade. So obviously you're going to hear player one and not two, and then we're going to do the opposite on it. So let's just make sure we sound on both of these and plenty of footage to play. 
Okay. The studio Sorella. is one of the most professional video production and broadcasting softwares on the market. It has four video inputs for camera. You can do this. And this. And at a much lower speed at 10 seconds. And this. Lower thirds on the fly, box in box, video switching with 32 transitions, and so much more. Visit our website. Okay, so that's both of them paused. So you get the general idea. So that's pretty much it. I mean, we can go here just to demonstrate the, a really slow uh, play on the speed bar. I'll press T to roll that. I'm sorry, volume is down. Um. Thank you for watching. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for watching. And that was the demonstration video, or the tutorial video, on using the video players in FinCast Studio or Solo. And again, full information is on our website, fincast.com. Bye now.